Welcome back to the Jack Racing YouTube channel. We finally got the last piece of the puzzle here, a trailer. I needed one that was tiny enough to fit in this garage because our HOA does not allow trailers outside, which is a bummer, but I finally found one. It's structurally sound, but it's not super pretty. So today I'm gonna go through and grind this thing up, get the rust off, scratch it up with some sandpaper and then paint it. It's a, it's a pretty cool trailer. It's a tilt trailer, so I can unlatch these two latches tilt the whole deck down, drive the car right up onto it, and it'll latch itself back down. I got a good deal on it. It was nice and cheap, nice and small, just what I was looking for. So let's get to making it pretty. I've got this gnarly looking whipper wheel I'm putting on my drill. I'm gonna use that to just go over all these rusty spots, get them cleaned up. Some of these parts right here where there's not a lot of rust, I'll just go over with some sandpaper and scuff them up. But for these bigger rusty spots, I'm gonna grind all that rust out of there and then paint it up to keep it from rusting any farther. It doesn't have to be the prettiest trailer ever, but as long as it works, I'm happy. That wasn't so bad. A little bit of time with the whipper wheel and some sandpaper, and now she's all cleaned up, ready for paint. This is one of the lightest trailers I've ever seen. I can move this thing around with one hand. We were able to push it up the driveway by ourselves without even having to use the truck. So being able to just pull it out and drop it on the ball is going to be super nice. It's also going to be nice right now when I have to pick it up to put this tarp underneath it so I don't paint the floor. As far as colors go, I'm going to just make it match the car because that will look the best. So we're going to go black and this Rust-Oleum Sunrise Red. I'll probably do the rest of the frame, the majority of the frame black, and then I'll do the fender's red, and probably some of these little accent pieces red. Hopefully make it pop a little bit. Make it look nice. Just like that a couple hours later it's done it now matches the car and doesn't have as much rust on it I know it was not a show car quality job it was not even a very good job but it's painted it matches it won't rust anymore and it'll look good with the car on top of it so that's all we really needed I'll get the tarps moved out of the way and we'll see how it looks here in a little bit when it dries I've got two different kinds of hooks here, and neither are in that great of shape, so I ordered some of these nice new clips that will be much nicer and much more sturdy to clip onto the back of the truck. That was a quick fun little project, and the last big piece of the puzzle is done. So now, time to go back to the car. Nothing was really wrong with it after the first race, but I need to find some speed. And I think the first way I'm going to do that is by getting some camber into these tires. You can see they're just not sitting the right way. The only camber in any of the tires is in the right front. And I'm allowed up to an inch in every tire. So I'm going to go through, put some camber in all these tires, see if I can't find a little more speed that way. I know down the road I need to upgrade rims and tires too. These tires are kind of hard, not super wide. And just not <laughs> really that great for racing tires but they came with the car so the price was right this is the trailer tire i just pulled off i need a new tire on there too so apparently tires are on the list hopefully putting some camber in will help me find some speed for now i'm not going to spend a bunch of money on rims and tires just yet um trying to go slow with this we're working on a budget here i mean clearly this is no top level setup. We're just doing what we can to go out and have some fun. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see in these videos. Um, since there's not a race for a little while, I've got a couple of different videos planned that don't necessarily involve the car, more just kind of 
how to get started in racing and what all goes into it. So hopefully I get those made here soon for you. But until then, like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.